So on this lovely Thursday, you know, 71 was fantastic yesterday. <laughs> and we know that today it'll be a little bit cooler and the rain is it's not too bad. It's still going to be pretty I nice. I mean, we're, we're not expecting much and thankfully river levels did drop in the Missouri River, so I'm not expecting too much of a concern with the river, but I mean, after yesterday, I felt like we were so spoiled. Dang. We were. We were. And it was nice. <laughs> Why, Mother Nature? Why did you have to spoil our parade and bring in the rain and the cooler temperatures? It is early spring, after all. The time is 546. As you are beginning your Thursday, we are waking up to a few clouds in St. Joseph. Temperatures not too bad as you're stepping out the door right now. We're sitting at 49 right now in St. Joseph with a calm wind. Now, I have been tracking clouds moving in over the last several hours on our KQ2 high resolution max style light and radar. There is a line of showers and thunderstorms out into St. Louis and Illinois and Indiana, but that's not our concern with for today. Our big concern is this line of showers you see developing over western Kansas. This is all ahead of our next storm system that will be bringing in rain chances into the forecast, not just for today, but also into our Friday. So parents, as you are starting to wake up the kids, get breakfast and the coffee going and getting them ready for school, make sure they have the rain gear with them because we're going to be seeing cloudy skies this morning, but rain chances will be increasing in the afternoon. Temperatures will be a little cooler in the 60s. And of course, it's a big Big day for Royals fans. You can see me in my, my Royals blue today. Kansas City Royals, they kick off their season at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. And unfortunately, if you're heading out to Kauffman Stadium and down to Kansas City, you will need the rain gear as temperatures will be at 62 degrees by the time the game starts with chances for showers and thunderstorms. And keep that in mind that we will continue to have widespread chances of rain in the forecast heading into our Friday and into early Saturday. So let me go ahead and give you the entire breakdown in your all-important KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Again, it's going to be a dry start to our day. It won't be until after lunchtime that we're going to start seeing rain chances increase out to our west. By 2 o'clock, we're going to have a line of showers, even some thunderstorms. The orange and yellow colors indicating some heavy rainfall with that. And this is just round one. I'm expecting a break heading into the overnight hours. We could see some light rain into tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, but we'll see another round of showers and thunderstorms begin to push through on Friday morning as our cold front pushes through. And this is going to be enough to kick down our temperatures as we go from the 60s today to only 50 degrees for our high on Friday. Just being the messenger, I hope you enjoyed 71 yesterday because unfortunately, temperatures are going downhill from here on out for the rest of the week. 64 for your high today with widespread rain chances. Again, we could hear some rumbles of thunder. And then your all important KQ2 five to seven day forecast once the rain moves out early Saturday day. Yeah, it's going to be cooler. I wish it was in the 70s for the weekend, but at least we'll have the sunshine. It will be feeling a lot more like spring next week with the 60s making a comeback. So, yeah, it's going to be cool, but at least it's going to be nice out this week. And good something to note, as you said, it, it'd be finishing up rain pretty soon in the weekend. Thanks, Vanessa.